Welcome back to Trinidad and Tobago. Well, in case you didn't know, and we showed you part of uh, Ria's story earlier this morning, and I don't know if we have the story still on a uh, standby, but uh, we're going to share with you, just to bring our discussion into context, and we all grew up looking at Sesame Street. Well, they were in Trinidad and Tobago, and our local farmers were featured uh, as part of the global hit. Sunny day, sweeping up. A famous furry blue monster will be making his way to where the air is sweet, right here in Trinidad. But this time around, Sesame Street's cookie monster isn't looking for cookies. They will take this pine, they'll be seen leaving from the farm, and they go back to their kitchen. And they'll now put together pizza using the Trinidad table and pineapple, the sugarloaf pineapple. In the show's season premiere on Saturday, a new segment called Cookie Monster's Foodie Truck will educate children on the origin of different foods. While Cookie Monster and his friend make pizza, they question how pineapples are grown, and their journey takes them to South Trinidad, where table and farmers plant, harvest, and prepare the tropical fruit. Now, what you see on Saturday would have taken much planning and preparation. In fact, the episode would have been filmed several months ago. C contact was made, approval was had, and about two months after, which took us to about April, May, uh, we did the feature here. Agriculture economist Omar Dath Miraj tells CNC3 Sesame Street found the Pineapple Association on Facebook in late 2016. After much talks and some convincing on his part, its crew shot the segment under a veil of secrecy on a 15-acre pineapple estate. Farmers Ganga Pasad Ramsumer and Jason Budram were asked to be part of the show. We had a line. Yeah, yeah, the line. I had a line. I had a line where, 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 where we was finding... A, a bit hard to, to, to work with them, but we end up get through it. Every child dream is to be on Sesame Street. And, well, as an adult, I was glad to be in it, and I had my daughter here. She was part of it. Children sourced from 4-H clubs in nearby schools were also... The feature there done by Rio, and joining us on set, we have Natasha Lee and also Murat Miraj. Our Sesame Street debuts the 48th season on HBO on November 11th, 2017, with a primetime special, a new Cookie Monster segment. And as you saw, as part of that food truck segment, Trinidad and Tobago Pineapple will be featured. Good morning, how are you all? Good morning, Hema. Happy to be in your presence on Trinidad and Tobago. Good morning, Hema. Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago. Now, let me start. Okay, first with the t-shirt. So we have the pineapple and the X. If you can see that, let me start with that. What is that about? Well, it's a subliminal message, of course, that says let's eat more pineapple. Well, more pine this Christmas and less apple. Ah, <laughs> I like that. Today is also our Eat Local Day. Something that we do annually, so it ties into that as well. I like that. I like that. Now, Sesame Street came. Explain to me how they, they found you on Facebook. Mm -hmm. What was the initial contact like? Well, if I could, let's put one sentence before that to say that Sesame Street, I think we have lost our connection to that program in Trinidad, given the way children are now bombarded all forms of yeah. entertainment, yeah? So we have the iPads, all these games and so on, but the fact is it, it maintains a large, a very large global audience, and Sesame Street is, of course, a voice in the noise. It is actually sensitive to a lot of the issues facing society, and your segment just before spoke about migrants and so on, and Sesame Street has actually gone into refugee camps to feature um, some of the issues and, of course, presented in a way that would help uh, children, especially, to resettle in cultural landscapes that would, of course, bear no acknowledgement to their existence. They've also had compassionate representation of issues such as autism and so on. So when Sesame Street contacted us, they made initial contact via Facebook, and they would have seen some of the things assisted by people like yourself in the media industry, of course, that would publish and carry some of the stories on activities and the things we advocate for. Um, so in this 48th season, Sesame Street is introducing something called Cookie Monster's foodie truck. And it's about that, that, that And concept, Cookie Monster, did he make his way to, to Table Land? I'll tell you that at the end. I have, but, I have to know. <laughs> but the, the foodie truck concept is, is a reality. Like, if you look around Trinidad, we have a food truck festival. Yeah, we do. Yeah, so it's, it's the same thing in other parts of the world. And um, so they brought that segment to educate children the value on where food comes from. So they saw all the things that we do, and one was for pineapples. And in the built-up areas, of course, children believe that uh, pineapples, you know, they get in can, the yeah. slices and the chunks. And even here in Lavantil, when, when, they, when they gave me that, that sort of introduction to the idea, um, we did outreach in Lavantil West for the St. Bob's basketball court for like the last two years, and even children there couldn't identify fresh pineapple in its rough skin and so on. So, what? 
Yeah, yeah, that's very true. And, well, um, I shouldn't so, talk. I mean, there, I am one of those that probably would know a lot of local food. Really? Right, so, but the, yeah, so when they made contact, it was through Facebook. Um, the Table and Pineapple Farmers Association maintains an active online presence and so on, engages in conversations around agriculture, rural development, and so on. So, but there are some wins to it in terms of Trinidad and Tobago. Not only um, this this massive global audience of hundreds of millions of people, but the the, the global win is. We've portrayed agriculture as being laborious yeah. and backward and hard labor, hot sun, all those things. And the fact is, they, something like Sesame Street, um, an organization like that, contacted us through Facebook with the social media. Yeah. On, and to me, we have that simple connection has shown that we have changed the face of agriculture. You have. I mean, I mean, over that, we get your press release all the time. <laughs> Natasha, was it hard keeping this secret? And he, I mean, obviously, this, when I heard about Sesame Street, yes. was it turned out? No way. Yes, it was very difficult to keep this secret because. As an adult, you're bursting to tell somebody, and yes. then we had to secretly get children and parents to come to the shoot, to the site, because the children, they had to um, take part in reading the script and acting all little pieces. And you know, they couldn't go back to school to tell their friends or you know anything like that. So they, they were excited. So the community was involved in the shoot as well? Yes, um, most of the children came from schools in the area. Um, we saw children from clubs that are based for each clubs, and we had farmers bringing their kids. So we don't know who is going to be on it as yet. We haven't seen the actual episode. The, the it's a five-minute piece? Right, it's five minutes. Initially, we actually thought it was like, you know, two, one, whatever. And, um, but this foodie truck segment is, is a lot of parts. So you see what? You see the plantation? Right, so you let me see walk yourself. You through. Let me walk, walk through this. Let me walk you through. So Cookie Monster, they, they also introduced a new character called Gonga. Okay. So he's like a small version of Cookie Monster. I mean, you know, Cookie Monster is a lover of food. Everything they eat, not only cookies. Uh, so they're in their kitchen, and they want to make their favorite thing, which is pizza. So they put together the other implements, and when it gets to the pineapple, he, has, he would have the can, and he'd be like, what's this? Where this comes from? He couldn't make a primary connection right. to the pine. So they'd show that the characters leave where they are in the kitchen in New York City and travel to Trinidad. So they'll pop in one or two islands before. Um, the flight road come to Trinidad and then they'll be greeted and come to our farm. Did where, they know where? that pineapples came from the ground? You know there are people that th I used to think pineapples grown on trees. <laughs> well, you see? So, well, yeah, so when they come to the farm, they are welcomed by the farmer. Um, the two guys who were featured by Rhea. Um, so they're welcome to the farm and they, they, know, they, know, they don't only talk about the fruit, but they, they are a few sentences on the agronomy. How it is grown and harvested and so on. How it is handled. And then there's another bit where children would be having all the ways it uh, is prepared. So. Initially, even the producers, they thought that uh, we only do fresh, fresh fruits, like slices, right. the chunks, the little kebabs. That was their suggestion. And Jen, um, Natasha went the mile yeah. to bring jams and um, So juice. what other things are featured? So, so we have... No, well, so after, so there's fresh fruit. Right. These preparations with the children. Right. And then there's a, 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 a closing segment in Trinidad where they go to Robert Village. Um, further down from New Grant, uh, there's guy, Joel, a farmer, a farmer, right. farmer, farmer. He has these roadside stalls. Because that, that takes you to marketing. Right, so you go from the primary, the secondary, and then right. the final. Okay, so good. So the, the idea is a farm to table. That is, they want to teach children where the food comes from and along this whole farm to, farm to table philosophy. So Natasha, what do we feature as well? So in addition to the pineapple slices and the kebabs, you get jams and yes, everything else? Um, well, this was done before, so I took some pines and I had children in my school prepare the jellies. So they grated the pine, juiced it, took out the liquid, and we boiled it, you know, so they created the jellies. We also did some pepper jelly where we added some spices to it, and um, we made a chutney with the husk from the pine, so we added seasoning and so on to that. And well, on that day, we had a local lunch to serve to the crew, so they were able to use these in their lunch as well, and the children ate some Use some cricks. What biscuits. was their reaction when they first had the cricks and pineapple chow? Pineapple yes. chow well, and the pineapple chow. They thought we were trying to bombard the film because right. they only came for like a pineapple kebab. And right. then when they came, we had this, we actually built a cabin on the field um, using like bamboo benches, the coconut branches, and so on. And it's all. So super. you all took over the show? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. Trinidad, Trinidad. <laughs> I have to put this foot stamp there, you know? But um, yeah, so it was, it was really big. It was tough to, of course, maintain the secrecy. But we must also recognize Ian Harnarine. He is the director. He has done films such as uh, Doubles with Slight Pepper. That's really a film about the diaspora. Right. This guy, you know, it's available on YouTube, so, won awards and so on. But he has an intimate connection. And he Trinidad created and so this reality for you. Yeah, so the initial negotiation Give. came through him. And of course, well, he had uh, ultimate approval at the Children's Television Workshop. 
But of course, working with him, and he understood the, the local. I think it's just great. Like I was so excited to this interview. Now, did they when? What was their reaction when they tasted the the pineapple jam and everything else that you had outside the realm? Uh, it was unusual for them because, as I said, we added some pepper. Some spices, it was right? spicy, so they totally enjoyed it. Did um, they take up some home? Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. That's all. That's all. We even yes. gave them some local chocolate. Yeah. Nice. Inside, yes. So. so the big question was Cookie Monster and Trinidad and Tobago. Unfortunately, not, but he's here in our hearts. The, these <laughs> these films were done via live action studios. Uh, so maybe if it was done in North America or so on, they may move the characters, but but they got all the takeouts. You're right. So Trinidad. that was a super. But we knew yes. when we know. Sorry. Where he will be super cool. Okay, okay, okay. Or where his line comes in. Well, and so you just so. broke my heart there. With that, I mean, you know, I thought, I have someone who is in the newsroom, I'm not going to call the name, who says that when Cookie Monster comes to get his fine in Trinidad and Tobago, you have to bring him here at CNC3. <laughs> well, it's Christmas around the corner. So maybe we'll get so a Christmas. We can try something. When is the episode going to air? Uh, so it's on Saturday morning. Um, we know it as American HBO Kids right. as the channel. Um, the airtime in, in, well, in North America is 9 a.m. I'm not quite sure about the time difference on the schedule, but of course it'll be available online soon after. And I mean, the message is clear for children. Right now in Trinidad and Tobago, I think given all that is happening, um, the headlines with murder and all these seniors acts perpetrated against children, my message is simply, be like the pineapple. Stand tall, wear your crown, be tough on the outside, of course, be sweet on the inside. It's an opportunity to be proud of your agriculture, your farmers, and your country. We're on a global stage. And of course, for all the right reasons this time. Um, so congratulations to the Tableland community and to the Tableland Pineapple Farmers. They have done us proud. And uh, yes, yeah, Saturday morning, look out for it. And I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure that we in the newsroom will follow the episode and uh, share excerpts on the morning brew. Stay with us. Uh, we have another interview after this.